Hi, my name's Dan. Um, this video is one in a series of videos I'm doing about uh, armor and the design of armor and armor sets in video games, which in turn is part of a larger suite of videos about game design issues, which in turn is part of my channel on game development educational stuff. So in this video, uh, I want to do a very quick tour of what are sometimes thought of as the classic fantasy sets of uh, armor, so the different sets of material, and in order of how much uh, effectiveness that they, uh, that they can have. Um, so this has come through from lots of games that I've played, and also from uh, things like tabletop RPGs, like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and this is a fairly normal, uh, and uh, therefore stereotypical um, approach to uh, different sets of armor in your game. Um, I'm not going to talk about the mechanics of the real world and how uh, different sets of armor uh, act. I'm going to do that in the next video when I'm going to talk about the, the real world history of armor. So, lowest tier cloth. Um, you might think that cloth would uh, not actually give you any protection at all. I guess it kind of depends on the cloth. And then it depends on the game and whatever stats you want to give it. Uh, I guess in the real world, uh, a good kind of thick hessian might um, do you better than, say, silk, for example. Um, but um, these are usually starting off sets or maybe the only things that are available to magic users sometimes. Uh, then we move up to leather. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so the guy on the left... Uh, has got some chain armor on, but the guy on the right is mostly wearing leather. And uh, leather can come in various forms, um, obviously from soft leather and hard leather. And um, uh, and then, uh, as you can see a little bit on the guy on the left, uh, you could pretend to get studded leather armor as well. So moving on to the next, which is the chain mail armor, uh, which is flexible and uh, protective, um, and is kind of a... a, a yeah, it's the next stage up. It's not quite as effective as as um, the next stage, which we're going to go to, which is plate mail, which is big flat pieces or sculpted pieces of metal, uh, which are designed to stop all sorts of things happening. Of course. And I'm waffling. So let's move on to one final tier. So many fantasy settings will also have a a special set of armor that goes beyond uh, the plate mail. Plate mail is kind of, you know, it's very effective, but it's a little bit work a day and it's a bit kind of, it doesn't make you feel like you've got something amazing and extraordinary. So let's introduce some special armor. Um, and um, the, this is where things vary. It depends on your setting and uh, 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 your imagination, but it might be a special material. So like, uh, mithril, uh, which is uh, kind of some kind of elven silver, I think, from fantasy settings, or it could be magical um, or magically enhanced special armor. So there you have it. You, we have the five tiers. We've gone from cloth, leather, chain, plate, all the way through to special armor. Um, and your top tiers of armor might be very special indeed and might look really cool. And that's it from me for now.